The Rich Rabbit. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rich Rabbit. If you like our videos, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Cristiano Ronaldo is a brand in itself. Just like David Beckham, Ronaldo's hard work and smarts have taken his stardom to a whole new level. He is one of the finest and richest footballers in the world. Known for his style, cars and hairdos, Ronaldo is equally famous as a model as he is as a footballer. Although he's quite transparent about his personal life on social media, we believe there's still some facts which the majority of his fans don't know about him. The youngest child of Jose Dines Avero and Maria Dolores dos Santos Viveros, his parents worked as a gardener and a cook. Raised as a Catholic, Ronaldo grew up in a poor environment. As a kid, he had to share a room with his three siblings. A young boy seeking to explore his talents, Ronaldo soon discovered he was a gifted footballer and thus he landed a place in a Portuguese club sporting CP at the tender age of 12. While Ronaldo was a good footballer, he was a student not quite worthy of emulation. He got expelled from school, but this wasn't an issue for him as he had sought to leave school and focus on football. His football career, however, was threatened by a heart condition which had him undergo laser surgery as a teenager. But the star, just like his nature, conquered the adversity and soon resumed his career. Ronaldo moved to Manchester United in 2003 for a transfer fee of 12.24 million pounds. But it was not until the 2000 season when he had a significant impact in the English Premier League. That was the beginning of his glamorous football career. That season, he won the league for the team and was prolific at the goal, earning him a boatload of EPL awards. If fans wondered whether Ronaldo was going to be a one-season wonder, he certainly rubbished those thoughts. His performance the following season was equally convincing as he led United to another EPL title and won the Champions League. He even took it a bit further by winning his first Ballon d'Or and FIFA Player of the Year award. After just one more season at United, he moved to Real Madrid in 2009. For a player of his caliber, Ronaldo's transfer to Madrid was a world record amount of 94 million euros and his buyout clause was fixed at an unbelievable 1 billion euros. He signed a five-year deal which saw him earn 11 million euros annually. Ronaldo was prolific at the goal which earned him several individual honors and the league title. But that wasn't enough for the Madeira native as his eyes were fixed on Champions League glory. That did not materialize until the 2013-2014 season. His win that season also earned him the FIFA Ballon d'Or and a whole lot of other awards. His wins in the following season though earned him a second successive Ballon d'Or award. Determined for victory again in Europe, Ronaldo's performance in the 2015 season shot up. That season he emerged as Madrid's all-time top scorer and guided his club to UEFA Champions League glory. Determined to win the Ballon d'Or for a fourth time, Ronaldo guided Madrid to victory in the UEFA Super Cup, the FIFA Club World Cup and the Champions League. He was equally prolific for his national side as well and guided Portugal to victory in the Euro 2016. With this, he claimed his fourth Ballon d'Or award and he also won the first Best FIFA Men's Player award. His form didn't drop the next season either as he once again claimed multiple trophies. He thus received his fifth Ballon d'Or award and his second successive Best FIFA Men's Player award. In his last season at Madrid, he recorded similar success. Ahead of 2018, he moved to Juventus for a transfer fee of 100 million euros. In his debut season, he lifted the Italian first division title and was crowned the Serie Award winner. He also won the first ever UEFA Nations League tournament with his country, Portugal. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the most decorated football players in the history of the sport. He has won the Ballon d'Or five times, as we've mentioned, which is the highest honor an individual footballer can receive. 
He has won the Golden Boot four times, which is a trophy given to the highest scorer across the various leagues. In regards to both of these awards, Ronaldo has won them more than any other European player. As of 2020, Ronaldo has won 29 trophies over the course of his career, including six league titles, five Champions League victories, a Euro Cup win and a Nations League win with Portugal. When he won the Champions League in 2018, he became the first player in the history to do so five times. Cristiano's goal-scoring antics are also record-breaking. As of this year, he has scored over 700 goals over the course of his career for both club and country. He scored 128 goals in the Champions League, which is a record, and also scored 9 goals in the Euro Cup. You guessed it, another record. At the age of 35, Ronaldo belongs to a small club of players who have appeared in more than 1,000 matches with no sign of retiring. Cristiano Ronaldo typically earns more than $60 million a year as a base salary, although this has changed throughout the years with his different clubs. Off the field, he earns more than $40 million a year from different endorsements. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Ronaldo earned $108 million, $61 million through salary and $47 million from endorsements. Between June 2018 and June 2019, he earned $110 million from his footballing empire. One of his most lucrative brand endorsement deals was with Nike. In November 2016, it was revealed that Cristiano had signed a $1 billion lifetime deal with Nike. Specific terms of the deal are not known, but it is believed that the deal came with a $100 million signing bonus. In addition to that, Cristiano Ronaldo sells various self-branded products such as perfumes and clothing. He also has a partnership with the Pestana Group, the biggest hotel group in Portugal, and the two have a couple of hotels, one in Lisbon and one in Funchal, named the Pestana CR7 Hotel. He also owns a fragrance line named CR7 Fragrance. He also has a clothing line which he launched in tandem with Nike. Ronaldo is the proud owner of Insparia, a hair transplant clinic located in Spain. After spending nine wonderful years with Real, in 2018 Cristiano Ronaldo signed a four-year deal with Italian club Juventus that pays a base salary of $64 million. Following reports that the player earned $105 million between 2019 and 2020, it was revealed by Forbes magazine that Ronaldo became the latest member of the athlete's billionaire club, one of the only three athletes in the world to have earned over $1 billion in their careers, and he is the first footballer to do so. Ronaldo's 1 billion earnings do not make the star a billionaire, but in the near future, the star could surely join the elite billionaire club. That cash bucket means he can afford to indulge his love for flashy automobiles, and he does have quite a few choice rides in his collection, as you will discover in a few moments. Not only is Ronaldo one of the most celebrated football players in the history, but he also spent a large chunk of his wealth on these sickest rides. Here are some of his rides which you have only probably seen in the movies or video games. The first Bugatti to arrive in the collection was this black grand sports with taste with contrasting orange interior. He purchased the car in 2016 fresh off his Champions League victory with Real Madrid. With a top speed in excess of 254 miles per hour, the car once held the official record as the fastest open-top production car in the world. In 2012, Ronaldo celebrated his 27th birthday with some style when he dug into his weekly wages and bought himself this Lamborghini Aventador. The blacked out paint scheme adds an element of aggressiveness to the naturally aspirated V12 supercar that is capable of putting down almost 700 horsepower. There are reports that he owns another Aventador and the player has shared pictures of a white one on his Instagram account. 
Ronaldo is a Ferrari fan and currently has a few parked up in his garage. The most impressive has to be his limited edition Ferrari F12 TDF. Only 799 units of the V12 supercar were ever produced. The car can hit a top speed in excess of 210 miles per hour and needs only less than 3 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour. The football ace sure has a thing for fast wheels. The McLaren Senna is the ultimate track car that's still legal enough for public roads. Only 500 units of the 789 horsepower Senna were built and Ronaldo is one of the most famous owners. His spec is finished in a combination of silver and polished carbon with red accents. He picked up the car in 2019 and has been pictured a few times cruising in Lisbon, Portugal. The car was based on the 599 GTB but included more power and aerodynamic elements that literally doubled the high speed downforce of the GTO compared to the GTB model. Only 599 units of this car were built making it a very special part of Ronaldo's collection. One of the perks of being a Real Madrid player is that you get a new Audi car every year. In 2017, while Ronaldo was still at Madrid, he opted for one of the most powerful models on offer, the RS7. The car finished in Panther Black is a proper performance hatchback with a twin-turbo 4-liter V8 engine capable of producing almost 600 horsepower. The list of his rides is very long, but now let's talk about some of his other assets. Quickly, before we move on, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button if you didn't do that yet, and let us know what crazy, funny, and awesome videos you want to see next in the comment section. For now, I think we should continue with the video because the stories are about to get crazy. So grab those caramel popcorns and let's dive deeper into Ronaldo's stunning life. For a man like Cristiano Ronaldo with a net worth valued as high as $466 million, owning a private jet is pretty much a walk in the park. He is the proud owner of a Gulfstream G650 private jet valued at 50 million pounds. Cristiano Ronaldo's aircraft is said to be the fastest private jet which is able to hit a top speed of 610 miles per hour. Nothing says you super rich unless you own a private jet. Now let's talk about Ronaldo's various properties. In 2015, the New York Times revealed that Ronaldo had invested a huge sum of money on an apartment in Trump Tower, Manhattan. The purchase of the 2500 square foot space high up in the tower led to rumors that Ronaldo may join an MLS club after his time at Real was up. That didn't happen though, but the snazzy apartment is still waiting for the 35-year-old whenever he fancies a trip to the Big Apple. The panoramic views of Central Park probably make it worth a few million alone. A relatively modest purchase by Ronaldo's previous standards at just over a million pounds, the Marbella Holiday House is no less stylish than his other properties. The house built by the Otero Group, a luxury villa developer, overlooks the sea and features a built-in theater, LED driveways and an infinity pool. When Ronaldo joined Juventus in 2018, he needed a new home for him and his family, so he relocated to the hills of Turin, purchasing a villa that is shrouded behind trees and vegetation away from those unwelcoming prying eyes. One of Ronaldo's nearest neighbors in Turin is believed to be John Elkin, the chairman of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. He bought the $9 million mansion in Funchal back in 2015, at which time it was a derelict warehouse. It has since been renovated and is now as stylish and luxurious as his other properties. The rooftop pool overlooks the Atlantic Ocean, a view which can also be seen from the living room, which boasts a double height floor to ceiling window. There is also of course a gym, an additional swimming pool, a jacuzzi and a football pitch. Not a bad place to self-isolate then. 
Cristiano Ronaldo flaunting his wealth will surely catch the attention of several, including aspiring athletes. While Ronaldo flaunts the spoils of his intense hard work, remember the sacrifices he had to make to get to where he is now. But don't quit school just yet, as not all can be as amazing and as stunning as Cristiano Ronaldo. The Rich Rabbit